Hello everyone, my name is Madison. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm so excited to show you all some fun little goodies I picked up from Lush lately. Some of these are things I am repurchasing and others are some fun new things I'm excited to try out. While I have purchased some of these products before, I thought it'd be fun to do a little demo with you all, show you all how I use it, why I like them, things like that. Um, and then also, of course, just go through and test out and give you my opinion on my new products. So without further ado, let's get started. So first up here, this is the Sleepy Body Lotion. Now, if you have not heard or seen this product before, I cannot say enough good things about this. If you were to pick up one lotion from Lush, I would hands down recommend this. I purchased this in the 210 grams, which in America is 7.4 ounces. Um... This is the second biggest bottle you can buy, and I love this so much. It is a lavender body lotion, so just great for night, help you to relax. Um, has an amazing, just lavender vanilla scent to it. It is this gorgeous kind of purpley color. It is stuffed with glycerin, cocoa butter, almond oil, which will just help lock in moisture and just keep your hands, your body, wherever you choose to put this feeling really, really soft. Um, it is self-preserving and it's completely vegan. I have purchased this before and I absolutely love it. Like I said, the lavender is just great for sleep. I'll just like rub it all over my hands and my body before I go to bed and it'll just really help relax and rejuvenate and calm me before I go to bed. This scent is very, very popular and also comes in the Twilight scent. They're the same scent, just in like different product forms. There's a sleepy bubble bar, um, there's a sleepy shower gel, as well as a sleepy naked shower gel. There also is a Twilight shower jelly and a couple other products, which if you are in love with this scent like I am, you can go check out those as well. Next up, this is the Cup of Coffee face mask. This face mask just looks like this and is this amazing, amazing, coffee ground texture as you can see here just like the name this is stuffed with coffee which just acts as a great amazing exfoliant it smells so 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 good oh my goodness i love this so much this is a face and body mask as well as kind of like a gentle scrub so you could use this all over your body um this is the 5.2 ounce size and i love this so much i don't pick this up in the bigger version just because I don't feel like I use it enough to finish it in time. Um, it has a four month expiration date on it, which as much as I love face masks, it's not something that I remember to do as often as I maybe should. Um, and But I love this so, so, so much. There is koalin in here, I think I'm saying that right, right? Um, which just acts as a really nice way to draw impurities of your skin, things like that. And oh, again, the scent is so amazing. It just is so like brightening, it wakes you up, and so refreshing. I highly recommend this. It is by far one of my favorite face masks. Um, and of course it is a body mask as well, so you can use this wherever you need. Alrighty, it is face mask time. I am here with my cup of coffee face mask. Now, like I said, I have used this many, many times before. So this is definitely a repurchase, but I thought I would just like do it with you all because I have yet to talk about this on my channel. So let's go. Overall, I absolutely love this mask. There's a reason I keep coming back to it. I just feel like it is so refreshing, exfoliating, and really just helps get my skin kind of back on track. I personally like to exfoliate it right as I'm putting it on. It's a bit thicker and a bit more aggressive and abrasive, so if you have really sensitive skin or aren't prepared for it, I recommend that you do it after the mask is dried a little bit. I kind of do both, so I'll like massage it into my skin as I'm putting it on. And then right as I'm rinsing it off and after it's dried, I'll scrub it there too. After it's dried a little bit, like I said, it's a bit more gentle. And I feel like much less abrasive than when it's still like wet and trying to dry. I personally like that. I feel like it just does a very nice deep scrub. My skin is left just feeling so 
soft, rejuvenated, and just back on track. Because it is a scrub, at least with my skin, it leaves me a little bit red for a while, but I highly, highly recommend this. This is Pumice Power. It is a foot scrub that looks just like this. This foot scrub is a soap with a very strong orange scent. It is made, made of fresh orange oil, as well as pumice powder. I have not used this product before, but I'm very, very excited to. As you all are probably sick of hearing from me by now, I am an equestrian, so my feet are in boots literally all the time. This just means my feet are in normally pretty bad shape. Um, they're just worn a lot, cooped up in my boots. I'm walking on them, riding, sweating, things like that. I just feel like I needed a great product to just rejuvenate my feet, kind of scrub away the rough, dead skin and just leave my feet feeling healthy. I am someone who likes to scrub my feet every single time I shower. Don't go, I don't care where I am, what I'm doing. I feel like just scrubbing my feet makes me just feel so clean. Funny story, I actually was with my boyfriend in Moab and his family and I was scrubbing my feet in the shower in the bathtub and I fell over and it was a little embarrassing. Just a little embarrassing, but that's okay. They all ran in and were making sure it's okay, but. This smells so amazing. Like I said, it is a very strong orange scent, but not like any artificial oranges, anything like that. It definitely is like fresh orange oil. And the pumice powder in this will just help to exfoliate your feet and again, leaving them feeling like soft and refreshed. And I'm very excited to try this out. This product was only $5, so I figured if I don't like it that much, it's like not a huge deal, but the reviews on this were amazing. I'm very excited to try this out. And then last but not least is this little guy right here. This is the Sleepy Face, which is a naked cleansing balm. It is just this adorable little round circle guy with this cute little sleeping face on it. This cleansing balm is in the Sleepy Collection, so it does have a very nice lavender scent to it. Um, it is filled with cocoa butter and shea butter, so it will be very, very moisturizing. I do have combination skin, so I wanted to try a new product that would just really like hydrate and rejuvenate my skin. It is kind of acne prone though, so I don't think this will be a product I will use every day, but I do think it will be nice to just try something that will hopefully just rejuvenate, refresh, and just really deep moisturize my skin every once in a while. It is pretty small, all things considered, but because this is not a product I'm planning on using every night, I'm excited to see how well this will last. It is made of lavender oil, which will again just be really like refreshing, great before bed to just help relax. This is also said to be a great makeup remover, and while I'm not a big makeup wearer, every once in a while it will be nice to have something like this to just help wipe it all off and help me get ready for the night. So it is time to test out our little sleepy face cleanser. Again, very little small lavender scented little cleanser moisturizer. I've heard this is great for taking off makeup. I'm going to try this out of the shower so I'm going to try it right now for you all and tell you all what I think. Um, so far it already seems very moisturizing. It's even just like melting in my hands a little bit. I do have combination skin which I'm a little like apprehensive about because it does get very oily and acne prone so we will see how this goes. So just immediately after first impressions, if any of you have ever used any of the naked body conditioners, I feel like this is almost like that for your face. Obviously a bit more of like a soap, a bit more of a cleanser, which is what it's meant to do, but definitely very moisturizing, almost leaves like a film on my skin. Not quite as bad and quite as like thick and moisturizing as those naked conditioners. However, I am loving it. It smells so good. I could definitely see how this would be something I'd want to use once, maybe twice a week, just to kind of give my face a nice refresh before I go to bed. This is the kind of thing I don't think I would put a moisturizer over, just to kind of give my like skin a night to air out. And it is so moisturizing in itself that I don't think I would need it. 
So thank you all so, so, so much for watching today's video. If you all enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up, subscribe, and let me know what other types of content you all would like to see from me in the future. I'm so excited about everything I picked up and I'm excited to show you all and tell you all how I like it all. I am such a big supporter of Lush, although they stand for their vegan friendly products, um, even vegetarian friendly options as well as just what they're doing for the environment. All their black pots you can trade in for a, um, like, and all of their black pots, if you bring in five, you can trade it in for a fresh face mask, which is just awesome, helping to reduce our environmental impact. And if you did not know, all the packing peanuts are completely biodegradable, so you can run water over them and they will completely disintegrate and you can just rinse them down the sink without any harm being done, which is awesome. Thank you all so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up, subscribe down below, and let me know what other videos you all would like to see from me in the future. I really appreciate you all watching and supporting me, and I love you all so much. Peace out. Bye.